On the appointment, uh, the, the proposal that there should be an appointment, a state appointments body established, I feel very strongly that this is actually a very good idea. Um, you, you know, at, at Corruption Watch, and I think it's common across um, uh, many people who've examined this, you know, we, 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 are, we were of the firm view, uh, I still talk about Corruption Watch as we, but I mean, they were of the firm view that that um, that uh, appo the appointment process was absolutely the key element in the state capture project. Um, uh, you know the appointments of boards, chairs of SOEs, uh, the executive suite of SOEs, um, directors general, all of these of, of particular. Uh, departments of government, uh, uh, um, mining, for example, minerals and mining, uh, the, precisely the kinds of departments that the Gupta targets in the state were interested in, were um, uh, the, the appointments were, were made in such a way as to facilitate the state capture uh, uh, saga. And so I think that it is a really good idea to place appointments in the hands of some kind of, you know, dare I say it, blue ribbon panel, pool of, 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 of people with unimpeachable integrity, some degree of, of, of human resource experience. And obviously from time to time, if you're appointing you know, you're appointing somebody to do a contract to build a nuclear power station. You don't appoint people with expert who are expert in procuring stationery. So there would have to be technical expertise on on these committees as well. And I think you, but I think you appoint the pool of you know even thirty or forty people from whom you could draw and you could co-opt expertise onto making these appointments. Um, I, again, I think that is an that I think that is an excellent r recommendation, and I think should really be uh, pursued. And you, you know, taking it out of the hands of the, if you like, of the government of the day. Although there should probably be a, a high level representative of the government on each of these panels, because again, we discussed the whole uh, deployment saga yesterday. And I think that the government is entitled to um, require that uh, appointees generally support the strategies and the approach of the government of the of the day. I remember I remember Trevor Manuel once saying that he had he had never appointed anybody who did not support the the proposals of the government of the day, or the, the position of the government of the day, but he'd also never appointed anybody who was second best in terms of competency. So those two things are not necessarily at odds with each other at all. Um, but I think it needs to be taken out of only the government of the day. Uh, some of the recommendations of the Zorno Commission sort of rang alarm bells for me, like, for example, they said appoint CEOs and chief financial officers. I think it's a very bad idea for one body to appoint a, an employee who is accountable to another person. And so if the CFO of a state-owned enterprise is, is, is reports to the CEO, it should be the state-owned enterprise that makes that appointment, not some other body to whom uh, senior people are are responsible. But, you know, we iron out those difficulties because it happens today that ministers appoint CFOs and uh, procurement officers and the like uh, in certain instances. And uh, the CEO then has no um, power in relation to them because he or she knows that they have the endorsement and the approval of the uh, of the minister. So those issues need to be ironed out in the appointment process. 
But I think that's an, 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 an excellent idea. Uh, 